Hey guys, and I have with us here we have uh, the awesome Smite at uh, PAX, Brain Fart. And uh, with us here we have Todd Harris. Todd Harris is a uh, developer, right? Yeah, I'm one of the founders and the chief operating officer of High Res Studios. So. All right. He has all those things and more. Um, so tell us a little bit about Smite. What do we got here? Yeah, so here at PAX, we're showing off Smite. Um, it's five versus five, and uh, for any MOBA player, they'll find some things that are similar uh, to other MOBA games, but also right. key differences because um, it plays like an action game. So you move with WASD, mouse. Every shot is a skill shot where you're really aiming, and the camera's a third-person camera right behind your character. So, um, you know, we call it Battleground of the Gods. It's kind of a, a, a description because all your, your heroes, or in our case, gods, are derived from mythology. Um, do you what branches of mythology? Because there's a lot of them. Or are you gonna do like everything? We'll probably do everything before it's over. But we're starting with actually five uh, kind of pantheons. So we've got Greek, like Zeus, of course, god of lightning. We've got Egyptian. So you have it, for example, Anubis, god of the dead. We have Chinese. Um, so every moment needs their Sun Wukong. That's an example of a Chinese deity. Um, what else? Yeah, we've got uh, Indian. So uh, like Kali, the multi-armed uh, assassin, kind of vampiric powers. And I think I left out Norse. So Odin, for instance, is an example. So we're going to start with those five for our first uh, 15 gods. And we'll continue to add more over time. Great. I've, I've been watching the demo here. And he's saying it's an alpha. It looks incredibly polished. Like, the graphics are great. The gameplay is great. I'm not, like, noticing any, like, random horrible things going on. It's really polished for an alpha. Uh, are you guys going to do, like, an open beta? Is it going to be free-to-play, or what about that? Yeah, so it is going to be free-to-play. It's going to be very similar to the, the low model in that you can get uh, new gods with gameplay, and there'll be cosmetic skins, which will be real money transactions. So free-to-play. Thanks for the polished comments. So far, no crashes to date. Knock on poster. Um, so it's been running really great. Um, and uh, we're actually in closed alpha now with some high-level MOBA players, which is helpful. It's a small group, but it helps us you know, test out mechanics and start to get the balance tight. And uh, we'll be moving into closed beta before the end of this month. And then we'll just gradually add players you know, over the next few months. And when it's ready, we'll take the beta label off and, uh, and bring on the world. And so that's the plan. Great. I've noticed there's a lot of uh, free-to-play MOBA-style games uh, coming out recently. Yours look, a nice thing I found about them all, they all look different. Uh, like, watching yours, it reminds me of playing League of Legends, only cooler. Way cooler. And, like, you're going through, like, there's the lanes, and then there's the side, things like that, and there's this big tentacle monster. And, yeah, it's just... Yeah, lots of lots of fun to watch. The graphics are great. Uh, how will this run on most systems? Just average. Yeah, so it's an Unreal Three based title, as all our games have been. Um, which means if you can run any Unreal Three game, you should be able to run Smite. It's real important to us that if you have a you know a great gaming rig, you can pump up the graphics and really have it shine in all its glory. But there'll be settings that you can tune down. So if you just got a regular you know kind of uh, uh, PC, you should be able to run it um, just with less graphical fidelity and. and maybe minus some of the bells and whistles. Great. Um, yeah, just watching it looks really good. Uh, what kind of, uh, looking at the range and all that, is it going to follow the standard MOBA style where you get experience from monsters, you get more from players with, you know, kills being detriment? Um, I heard him saying something interesting about the buy system, and it was more like the Dota 2 model where you have levels of things, and there was auto buy. Yeah, that's right. I mean, one of the things that we felt important is we want it to be, you know, both accessible, maybe even more accessible than other MOBAs, but also, of course, have a real satisfying skill curve and be competitive. And so around the accessibility, you know, one, just the movement, the fact that you can move WASD, we think is going to bring in a lot of PvP MMO players and action game players where they just don't like the RTS style or they want to try something different. So that's kind of one element. And you mentioned auto buy and auto skill. There's enough things to learn with uh, the skill shots and of course you got to learn a whole new set of gods and their powers so you can turn on auto buy and the system will take the design choices you know from our designer and you'll automatically get a good item build and a good uh, unlock uh, as far as your powers of which we have four kind of traditional so that way you can just start playing and, and learn the mechanics and then later look to optimize your build um, and uh, with the 3d perspective 
Again, in the map, there are various camps that you can use to pick up buffs. Um, but really, that perspective really changes the map awareness. You know, the camera's right around you. So you see a lot of really fun surprise elements where a character will just come out of the jungle or come from behind you. You don't see them. And all of a sudden, you see the pouncing cats from Bastet or maybe the ice wall from Amir, the frost giant, just completely surprising you. So that adds a really fun element, both as a player and as a spectator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here watching it, and it's really fast. Like, it's not as fast-paced as, say, Tribes, but, like, even the animations and the movement and how the terrain moves, it looks like it's a really big area, but you don't feel like you have to travel somewhere. Running somewhere isn't boring, which is really nice. Really nice. Yeah, there you see the example of the item build, as you were mentioning before. We simplified it a bit, so it's kind of three levels, um, in addition to the... Uh, items that buff your abilities. We also have consumables and abilities that can be used, you know, things like sprint or other things to, to do more than just buff your abilities. Um, yeah, and as far as the, uh, the movement and the combat speed, we actually experimented a lot with pacing. You know, that's a real important element. Some MOBAs have gone super, super twitch, frenetic, and of course others are more slower paced. We wanted all the combat encounters to, to be satisfying but if you see someone in a lane ahead of you we wanted the pacing to be such so that you could anticipate a little bit and manage your cooldowns and actually you know have some tactics yeah, yeah. Make, it, make it at least reasonable to be able to that's right play yeah all right well great is there anything else you wanted to ask on it um let's see or Minotaur, that's kind of cool pointing out in that our final objective or nexus is not a static objective. It actually turns into a boss fight at the end. So Great. our objective is to take out the Minotaur before your team does. And uh, ahead of the Minotaurs, you actually see the final inhibitors or towers are phoenixes. So they respawn. They And, uh, and if I take down your phoenix, then the minions in my lane will gain flaming weapons. They're almost about twice as tough as far as wow. damage. So that helps push. So all those familiar elements to, to MOBA players they'll find, there's just a, a different combat system underneath the covers. Great. It looks great. It's And the, I like how the design elements actually fit with everything in the game. Like, there's the heroes and the god, oh, gods, sorry. They all run together. The gods and there's the phoenix and the minotaur and all the other things, the scenery, it all fits, which is really nice to see. Yeah, it's obviously across mythology, but this map is a little more, you know, Greek Roman themed, and it has a fire theme also. So the phoenixes are flaming, the buffs from the minions are flaming. Deep in the jungle, there's a fire giant actually as a major kind of team buff. If you want to go on a side quest and take him out, that can turn the tide. So, um, and we are, as with most MOBA games, the the variation really comes from the new gods that we'll release. So there's 15 we're playing now. We'll release more, you know, approximately right, once. A month, stick with this map, but then down the line, you know, potentially release other themes. So, cool. So it's, uh, you know, closed alpha. People can go to smitegame.com, sign up for the beta. We'd love to have them help uh, make a great game of Smite with us. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll get some tribes action after this.